All right, here we are, Toronto's newest flagship LCBO, 24,000 square feet. First look inside, it is very huge, nice and spacious. Everything looks like it's well thought out. Biggest vintage section of any LCBO so far. Looking through these rows, it's just really kind of crazy how much wine there is. You can definitely tell that this was a wine focused store. I think whoever curated uh, this LCBO definitely had wine in mind. Um, just rows upon rows of everything you'd ever want. I think that the LCBO probably carries is in these things. I mean, it's just endless. Um, over 4,000 uh, different products uh, in this store, so quite big. And this is why you go to these big LCBOs for the tasting area. Um, they didn't quite have this one set up yet, but it will be wine and spirits when they eventually do. Here's one that looks like they just had it set up for maybe like a wine tasting. Um, also, huge walk-in beer fridge. I think this is like 1,500 square feet. Um, really nice. They have these in all the LCBOs now, for most of the big ones anyway. Um, and a great Ontario section. Probably this is one of the probably one of the biggest Ontario craft beer sections I've seen in any LCBO. Ontario and especially Toronto doing really good things in the craft beer scene these days. All right, let's go look what's whiskey. This is what we're here for. Um, honestly, guys, super disappointed with the whiskey section here. Just very generic, run of the mill, boring ass whiskey. Like I did not see anything. <laughs> worthwhile purchasing. The LCBO actually is doing a pretty decent job of doing online exclusives now. So you're not gonna really find much pop-up in stores nowadays. Here's some stuff behind the cabinet. Um, you know, there's not much. I just thought I would show you some of the more expensive stuff about Blair 25. Here is a really good Brickladdy Rare Class. This is the 1888 series, uh, 30 year old, $2,000 though. Um, here's one I've never seen before. The Dalmore Constellation uh, series. Have you guys seen this? Um, you know what they want for this bottle? How about a nice uh, even $56,000? I mean, what is happening? That's insane. So this is apparently cast two from 1971. I mean, <laughs> okay. Uh, here's some, you know, 14 year old Macallan for $400. Uh, here's one that I haven't seen yet before either. The Clinfidic Grand Crew. Not really sure what that is. I think it's a 23 year old, uh, you know, 600 bucks. Is that a good deal? No, probably not. 36 year old Tomatin, um, you know, 1500 bucks. You do get this really kind of cool, um, kind of carrying case with it. it. Looks like a little backpack. I do like that. I mean, here's some Japanese whiskey. Um, Nika from the barrel, probably still one of the better buys uh, at the LCBO standards anyway, 70 bucks. Um, as far as what I've tried from what the LCBO has for Japanese whiskey, that's probably the one to go to. Okay. And look, a new riff. Um, didn't think I'd see the LCBO with some new riff, but there you go, a new riff rye, right there. $104, uh, I don't think that's that competitive. Oh, Rob, <laughs> here's one for you, buddy. Shout out to Drake. I'm surprised they're still making this stuff. Um, prices of these are just, you know, they're never gonna be competitive with Art Bag, unfortunately. $105 for the 10 year old. And Talisker 10, up to what, two, 120 now for Talisker 10 year old? Jeez. Here's the only purchase that I would probably make at the LCBO. It's uh, Kleinleach 14 for 100 bucks. I think that's uh, honestly so disappointed in the whiskey section. Um, here's some rum, just very generic, basic stuff. Nothing really out of the ordinary. Uh, that's the Kappa 23. I kind of drank that down when I was in Columbia. It drank really well, especially in the hot climate. And uh, I guess 80 bucks, not too bad for LCBO standards. Here's a section the LCBO really needs to work on is their mezcal section. We just do not have that many mezcals to choose from. Maybe at any given time, there's like five different ones. Some tequila, um, again, the tequila section uh, also lacking immensely. Um, here's some high priced bottles, 20 or sorry, 4,300 bucks for that cognac. Uh, Louis the 13th and uh, cognac. I remember getting this thing at the LCBO, or sorry, at the duty free for a thousand dollars i think it was maybe maybe even less um that was obviously some time ago but you know forty three hundred dollars now the lcbo that's crazy um you know here's some more stuff uh this is uh some brandies kind of kind of a cool presentation never seen those before some other you know random cognac haven't tried it uh here's a really old port taylor floodgate uh five thousand dollars 
but really wine, I mean, this if, if you are a wine fan, you probably would like some of the stuff. Here's some more of the high-priced things, you know, $1,800 a bottle kind of stuff. Um, if you recognize these, let me know in the comments down below. I am not a wine person, I'm not sure what these are. These are just more like the more expensive stuff they had behind glass. So I thought I'd kind of just share it since the whiskey <laughs> selection was so lacking. Um, if you're into some wines, maybe these ones are good. I'm sure they're all overpriced. There you go, here's a 100 year Centennial um, Mandela, 3200 bucks. So there you have it. Um, kind of a lack lackluster experience for a whiskey fan, but uh, if you're into wine, this LCBO is really cool. Cheers, guys.